Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 62. Um, I feel like I'd, I want to work on this for more than one hour a day. I'm starting to pick up speed, and I think that once my other contract work is done, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to continue recording every single episode. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Because I only think, like, one person has watched anything. <clears throat> I don't know. We'll just I'll just keep recording. Whatever. It might get boring. Maybe I'll talk less. Nah, I probably won't talk less. So, let's see. Where were we? We are zooming in. Loading levels. Snapping. And then we've got this bit here. Set next. I uh, was given a path node that has no tag. So that would be... That's this cube here, I believe. Yes. So these are both tagged. What about our start, our begin cube? Tagged, also tagged. This is in cube face update. Hmm. And I do believe we're still not spawning anything. And that's because our cube manager is in our core persistent objects. <clears throat> is that necessary? We, put, we could put our cube manager in the world. Because each level is going to have its own cube manager. Okay. And maybe even this cube rotate direction transform. So we'll break this. And then... Cube manager, begin level. Okay, that should be fine. Let's go to level one and do the same. Cube manager and cube rotate direction transform. So here, the cube manager can spawn. It will find the cube, the start node, cube cores. Cool. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm going to put all of these into an empty game object as well. Cubes. Not. I don't know if it's necessary. Or useful, but it keeps our world nice and pretty, right? So let's see. Now our core persistent objects. Um, let's modify that prefab. And save. And I do believe that means in our main menu, this is not connected anymore. We've broken this. Um, so let's turn this off.
Let's see if everything just automatically works here. A variable cube rotate transform. of camera controller. Okay, so that's something that should happen at our begin level. We'll throw another tag on here. And I do believe that that means our so our world should have our cube manager and our cube rotate direction transform. And in our world, so our camera controller begin level cube rotate direction transform equals find only one of tag. And that should make it happy. <clears throat> Let's go back to level one and yes, definitely save. We'll tag this bad boy here. Oh. Okay. Hey. Interesting. So these errors. Huh. These errors are not broken. Like there's nothing wrong here, right? Uh, let's do some debugging and try and figure out what is actually happening here. <laughs> so here's our world. Here we're doing our path node stuff. So we'll put a breakpoint here. And then in our path node, let's put a breakpoint here. Okay. I think this is going to happen first for some reason. Okay, initializing all of our path nodes for the first thing, that's fine. Still don't know why everything's upside down in here. Oh boy, that worries me a lot. What is happening there? 
Yeah, our camera's completely goofy. Okay, so our camera's goofy, and that means everything else is facing the camera. <laughs> okay. Go to the wrong spot. Load next scene. Sure. Yes, I was correct. Cube face update. Ready to validate. Where do we do where do we use this one? This is in fixed update. And I only do this once, right? So what if I get rid of this? And here's our cube face. So we don't tell our cube faces world. Here we do all of our path nodes. Find OOT foot <laughs> objects of type. Make that an array. That should do it. <clears throat> so don't validate the faces until you're happy. Or until all the nodes have been had their stuff done. Why is my camera all goofy? Something weird is there. Hey, cool. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. So we're missing something before validate path nodes. Awake. Maybe we need to do this cube face thing. Yeah, let's see. Um, what is the order of this? So, boom, we've done our stuff for the main menu. And then, uh, next initialize goes here. Cube face, awake. Okay. So this does all of that. 
zero, null, uh oh, Ooh. okay. Uh, those are cube faces with no path. Oh, right, we need to do this. 38 faces, one renderer, three leaf nodes. And that is an L path, that is correct. Path node list count five, that's right as well. Ah, uh, possible path node links. Okay, so this has not been filled out yet. Who fills you out? Possible path node links dot add. On trigger enter. Uh, that should stop me here, right? Right, okay, so this initializes. Whoa. Oh, I didn't put a breakpoint there. Darn, Nurbit. Try this again. Remember to add the breakpoint after level starts. Sure. Oof, I almost did it again. <laughs> Path node. Boom. Hey. So this is everything overlapping the cube. So this worked fine. Um, owning face is active is false. Well, dang, that might be the case here. Let's see if any nodes get added. Hey, there we go. So that's an end node and an end leaf node. Start end path face. Straight path face. So it did happen before we call validate. Huh. Um, let's put the begin cube up here. Next is end node. Hmm.
So it doesn't believe <clears throat> that So that worked fine. So when we spun it, it was happy. That means that there's a difference between spinning it and just starting the level. I'm also really concerned because we shouldn't be connecting to any leaf nodes here. Right. Hmm. Bizarre. So on trigger enter is happening. I'm not too sure if I Oh, we need to do set if owning faces are active. Remove invalid path nodes, connect perpendicular paths. I think we need a face function here. What if we just change everything? What if we just did this here and let the update handle it? Whoa. Oh, ayo. And then in my world, instead of validate path nodes, set ready to validate. Oh, that's okay. Break paths? Is that what we want? Whoa! Whoa now. Ah, okay, there's a null reference exception there. So it hadn't found the leaf nodes yet.
But that happens in a week, doesn't it? Huh. Maybe this should be done in start. <clears throat> Hey, cool. Hey. <laughs> um, could this be causing it? We are returning. Hey, maybe random pool. This is a static. Yes. But each persistent game object, I think just returning out of here is fine. We don't need to create new random systems. I don't think that's causing our issue here. We can get rid of this face awake. It's uh, doing the thing we expect. No errors now. <clears throat> Initializing new world. But still failing to connect these two things. Let's see. Um, first of all, let's rename this. Oh, let's go back to levels. Let's see what happens if we just hit play here. Hmm. Lots of stuff breaking here. Um, this is cube A. What? This should not give us an error when we run it. Cube manager start, cube manager begin level. That shouldn't be happening. I thought that my world Oh, find only one is foo. Ooh, that makes me happy.
I probably didn't tag our cube manager, did I? Cube managers in the world. Okay, excellent. So we've pared down the error space to just starting the level in this new way. So let's think about what used to happen. Before, we would just do begin level on start. No awake. Found this, that's fine. Get all of our cores. I don't know if we, what does setup cubes do? Find connecting path nodes on cube. Random pool can be first, but maybe cube manager needs to go first as well. And maybe, maybe we want to set up the path nodes before we do the cube manager. Found a start node, stuff exploded. Still, explosions. Really? Might be a circular order of operations thing. I might need to break some stuff out. So our path node begin level. It finds one. Sets the node type based on the tag, which is a little bit silly, right? What kind of node types do we have? <clears throat> sure. This is going to be a little bit foolish. Oops, hey, Alt Tab. Yeah. 
<sighs> so cube controller, we just get the offset. Nothing span nothing fancy there. Here we get the face spawners. We tell each spawner to spawn, and then we tell each spawner to set up cubes. Get faces, find connecting paths. What do we have in current core here? Activate and break all paths. Calculate hidden faces. So let's validate all face path nodes. That sounds useful. And this has all the cube cores. Initial path. Um, this should be connect initial paths. And then in the world here, we can connect initial paths. Kind of just grabbing at straws here. Dang it. Uh, let's check our begin cube. Okay, so that is turned off. So our rotate complete is working fine. Right link enter, transition, we've got our faces, rotator. Overlap stuff. Do, 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 do. Find connecting path nodes on cube. Where is this called? Cube face spawner. That seems correct. Handle begin rotate, calculate, handle rotate complete. Hide inactive faces, validate all face path nodes. Okay, so let's do it 
let's do it this way, right? So we've got our cube cores here. And uh, first thing we want to do is activate and break all paths. And then we want to calculate hidden faces. Hide inactive faces and then validate all face path nodes. So I definitely believe that this is doing a lot more work than it needs to. I might be doing a bunch of extra work, but it only happens once at the very beginning. Dang it. Huh. And this connect initial paths is running let's do this oh this could be breaking our stuff I think this might have to do with the order of operations once again. So we've got our on trigger enter, and then we've got our world this. Yeah, initialize. So this is running before. Here. OK. OK. A little bit closer. Once again, I'm going to rename this um, episode to something like fixing initial connections instead of transition in. We didn't even get there. That's fine. <laughs> so we need a way to once all of the on trigger enters have been executed
that must have been why I did that crazy validated um, bit, right? Spawn set up, um, and then who was in charge of that bit? Is that our cube or girl public? I want to go down to my What was that even called? I'm getting lost. We gotta, there's a lot of moving pieces here that I'm not too happy about. Base. Did I just delete fixed update? No. Where do I set it to waiting for fixed update? Here at the very top. Oh boy, let's do it. Let's, this is getting a little bit out of hand. Nice. Uh, let's see if I can get rid of this bad boy here. Yeah. So what did I actually do here today? <laughs> um, let's rename this. Um, wait. For fixed update before validating. And this connect initial paths, we can get rid of you completely. Uh, let's go back to our main menu. Oh, yeah, save. Oof. Untagged, cool. Eight. 
error. Nice. I like it. No! Why? Why? <laughs> ah. But here... Bizarre. Starting to run a little bit low. So, there's a difference between starting and loading. I think it might be a good idea to try and figure out the order of operations. Okay. So when we start a new world, we want to initialize our nodes, our path nodes. We want to find Intracube connections. So that would be like if we've got two nodes here and the Whitling can walk down. Oh boy, there's just so many things. Um, I guess we want to find an active faces, hide them, and this disables them, meaning that our validation And our validate nodes have to come after the on trigger enter messages have been handled. <clears throat> Which I'm really not a fan of. I have to hack around that in a not happy way. And for some reason, this is not happening in the order that I expect Oops. when I transition levels. So here it is fine. So that means there's a difference between like the start and end, or start and awake ordering. Uh, what in the world happened to our camera here? Well, our camera was rotated 180 on the Z. That's good to know. Okay.
So what if I do it here? Hmm, everything's broken. Yeah, that should be exactly the same. I don't know why I tried that. Still flying into the upper left corner. Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh, it's all broken. Well, the core still works. Um, I'm going to need to spend some time maybe refactoring how this whole thing works. I might do some planning off stream. Or maybe later tonight. No, probably not tonight. Um, but I think we need to do some more planning to figure out how we actually want to transition between levels. Is it worth all this craziness? Could I just load a scene? Yeah. Oh, man, that makes me sad. It's mm. a cool idea, the zoom in. Oh, well. I'll keep it in mind. Um, that's it for today, I think. We hit an hour abouts. Um, we'll see what we can get tomorrow.